Midland Police back in the uh, news again, the national news, and uh, for for uh, uh, not my story, but somebody else's story. And and here here it was in our paper yesterday, the Midland Reporter Telegram. That's the district attorney Nodoff, who I've contacted many times about the crimes at my house, and then and then also. Uh, the chief of police, Seth Herman, which is actually happens to be my neighbor, lives right around the corner, and uh, uh, and I've actually contacted him, sent him a lot of evidence, and then he ended up blocking me, and I'm going to show you part of that in a minute, but hey, what I did was uh, copy and paste from the news article, Anders Lawyer, and this is the... Uh, Ty Anders was the the national news story, the, the young black man here in Midland that, that ran a stop sign, was held in gunpoint at his at his grandma's uh front yard and and his and, and uh he said he was afraid of the of the police that they'd been harassing him and, and he was he was worried that they were gonna shoot him and kill him. And and so um Anyways, this is Anders Lawyer, Dallas-based civil rights attorney Justin Moore, held a press conference before the public forum calling for independent investigation into the Midland Police Department by the Texas Rangers or FBI. He also lamented what he described as vigilante behavior by law enforcement and criticized the felony charges against Ty Anders, his client, the, the, the young Midland man that ran the stop sign. Okay, And, and here's Herman, uh, Midland Police Department, uh, it, they've, they're comparing Midland to the police in Minneapolis that, you know, where the police officer uh, kneeled on the guy's neck for eight minutes and, and murdered him, you know, and it's caused, it's causing all the riots and, and all that. And, and so, um, see, there, there were some other interesting things here. It, it, Herman's remarks followed comments by residents who expressed concern the climate of the Midland Police Department was moving in the direction of the Minneapolis police. Four officers in Minneapolis were fired earlier this week after video surfaced of a white officer kneeling on the neck of George Floyd, a black man who later died. And, and it just came across my Facebook a minute ago that they arrested that one officer, Chauvin. Uh, the one that was, uh, you know, alleged to murder the the man there in Minneapolis, and and then here's our chief of police. What happened in Minneapolis is an atrocity. Herman said, "You're not going to find an officer with the Midland Police Department who who doesn't look at that with disgust and anger," you know, and uh, and and also mention. Uh, uh, Midland City Councilman John Norman, who I just emailed and he didn't reply to me. Pat, mayor Patrick Payton was our new mayor. I, I, I sent him multiple videos and also proof of, of the crimes against me. And, and, and modus operandi here is to ignore the crime victims, no matter how much proof there is of police corruption. You know, that's what, that's what I've been seeing. And, um, uh, uh Let's see if I can find anything else here. He says, later in Thursday's forum, Herman was asked if an, by an attendee if we had done anything different than his officers uh, in, the, in the arrest of Ty Anders. So he just said it would have pulled Anders out of the car and the incident would have ended quicker or looked worse. Okay, and that, you know, that, that's what our chief police said. He would have probably have ended up with a broken window and someone arrested and transported immediately, Herman said. It would not have looked as professional as the men and women that were there that day that showed extreme patience. So, so Herman said if he was the police officer that day, then, then it would wouldn't be professional like the police officers that were in the video and and so or that's that's what it says you know y'all read what i read right and so let me go back here's the brand new news story former mpd officer derek chauvin has been taken into custody that's minneapolis uh police okay and uh i'm gonna go i'm gonna go back to my story because i i uh uh, interest my Facebook's under Buddy Wayne Webb or Buddy Webb three five three and and so here what I want to show you here is this is the national news story for Midland okay because like I said we're being compared here our police to Minneapolis okay this story has been made international news and was compared to the police brutality murder of the man in Minneapolis and this is on TMZ dot com and and you could Google that you'll find this all over the internet this is actually the video from the police cam but there's other videos from the uh, citizens that were that were there okay and and i'm just going to show you this here real shortly uh
Hey, hey, come here. Okay, I don't care. We're on a traffic stop. Y'all get back right now. Get back. Go away. Step back, dude. Come back here. Just walk back. You're not. Okay, walk back. Walk back. Why you stop me? Why you stop me? Tell me why you stop me. Hey, tell me why you stop me. Get back. Remember, he ran a stop sign. You know, this has been shared by Jay Z. Like I said, it's made national news. The Midland Police and how they acted there, and and so that that's really the the story here. Well, I'm going to of course relate it back to what happened to me. Okay, and 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 here, let me start with my first comment. I contacted this attorney, Ty Andrews, uh, attorney in Dallas, and I told him that I had proof of police lying on police reports and tampering with evidence. And now now that's that's hard proof, and you know it's not. My my word against their word. And in the home invasion and capital murder to my life, triple proof shows I wasn't shot my gun, so somebody shot me, and it's looking like it might have been police that shot me. Six of the 11 law enforcement officers caught on camera and identified by Empire Private Investigations six years after being caught didn't have their name on the illegally withheld police report, and three of them are dead. The police report showed that five officers, Davis, Dickey, Chatwell, Angel, and Hale, were at or in my home when they were not seen arriving on security camera. This told me they were under my home and it was somebody under my home that shot me by surprise. Now we know why they hid the police report for so long. This is vigilante behavior, okay? And so that's why I've suspected that the five police officers under my home what might have been the ones that shot me. Now keep in mind I just reported a suspected tunnel to the DEA a couple weeks before. I've been reporting multiple burglaries at my home. It's believed I trapped a burglar in my bathroom that day and that might have been, they might have used that trap burglar as justification to try to kill me to free that burglar because these police, I believe, are working with this crime ring that's rigging these homes and breaking into private homes such as mine, okay? This list of 11 names is the ones where I offered a $2,000 reward and Empire Pride Investigations named all of these police officers were caught on camera, okay? And there's 11 of them. Six of them didn't have their name on the police report and I didn't get this police report until 2019. They were caught on on camera in January 2012. They had illegally withheld the police report from me because it was incriminating, okay? And so here, see all the missing names on there. And, and then, as I said, three of them police officers are now dead, right? And then there's all kinds of stories all over the place here uh, where the first one that showed up, Woodward right here, was a sheriff from a different county. Nobody's ever explained why a sheriff shows up from a different county. His name is not on the police report, okay? And here's the guys you're seeing where Davis, Dickey, Chatwell, Angel, and Hell, they're listed at or inside my home, and they wasn't seen on the security camera that caught Woodward and Naylor showing up, you know? And so, you know, they wasn't magically transported, you know, like Star Trek. They come from the tunnel that, that Ricky Ronaldo said him and his brother used to go in. Uh, they come in the trap door from where I was ambushed and shot. They were under my home, and, and which is now removed. It was removed while I was in the hospital because it was used in that capital murder attempt. And this is the second entry by police three days later after they had staged the crime scene. They never planned on anybody finding out about that first entry. And that's, and, and that's when they tried to disable my camera and accidentally started it. That's where I got the pictures of the secret police and all that. Okay, and so here's the second entry. The only person on both sets of pictures was Rosie Rodriguez. She's a main player. She turned out to be the, the lifelong friend of the ex-wife that is alleged to be involved in the murder attempt against me, right? And and so this is a mess, you know, but this is the Midland Police Department what I'm talking about. This, this was sent over to uh, Ty Anders' attorney because, you know, he's... Uh, he a he secured attorney, and, and that's what they're talking about uh, here in Midland on the police corruption. The truth is that, that uh, and what I noticed, I thought there might be a racial uh, element into what happened to me, because I noticed on the police report they listed me as American Indian. Well, I've never been listed as that. 
Uh, you know, I've always uh, identified, I guess, as Caucasian. It is true, though, that I have an Indian card in my wallet, and I guess they found that, and 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 that and that's what I'm gonna go here. The truth is that shows I'm three thirty second Chickasaw, which means that I'm twenty nine thirty second Caucasian, right? In fact, my mom, who was a member of the DAR, found out that our ancestors came over on the Mayflower. I felt like this was done on purpose in a demeaning fashion, as they were grasping for straws to destroy my character in any way they could since I was the victim of horrific crimes, which MPD was a major, major player in. And so, uh, you know, I thought it was really odd that they listed me that, that I wasn't a, ca a Caucasian, and, and I just thought that was a slight, that it was racist that they did that, you know? It's like, oh, well, yeah, he's not white, so it's okay to break in his house and kill him, you know, or whatever, you know? And, and so this is the card. But here, I'm 330 seconds, right? That's, that means I'm 2930 seconds, you know, uh, not American Indian. America, uh, after Herman, Chief uh, Chief Police Seth Herman become chief, I started sending him emails and he was replying to me. I have copies of these emails. On July 10th, 2018, I sent him an email and copied the mayor and city council which told the story of how I, uh, I had reported multiple burglaries to the police before I was shot during a burglary with burglar alarms going off in my attic. This email contained links to over 50 videos showing burglar alarms going off inside my home. Literally. This is when he blocked my emails while the crimes continued uh, against me, which made a huge statement to the truth about this huge number of crimes being allowed to be committed against me. And I believe that they're trying to terrorize me from my home. People are breaking my home, giving me death threats, slandering my name while I'm a disabled, defenseless crime victim, and I'm trying to get the police to arrest these criminals. I had been calling them a year before I was ambushed and shot. And, and you know, and so here's this video that went to Seth, which is Seth Herman, the chief of police, uh, the former mayor Jerry Morales and the and then the former city council back in 2018 and and it was burglar alarm vids on Facebook I go in here uh, here's the one here's what happened to me etc on this and then down here was 50 videos from my YouTube channel they're made off my phone actually when burglar alarms going off in my attic when you could hear them I mean the amount of terrorism in my home has been unbelievable the amount of crimes in my home is unbelievable believable as there is as you know a million dollar three bedroom underground home in the backyard that was used for oil show parties i believe it was used to murder that young girl in 2010 and they're protecting it they're they're desperate to terrorize me from my home and they're using corrupt police you know that that won't that that won't stop them and and working with them to terrorize me from my home after I survived the murder attempt, this crime gang has worked together to terrorize me from my home with the repeated break-ins to my home, death threats, and defamation of my character. The police have looked the other way while this has gone on, and then others come to me and either suggest or order me to sell my home and move. They desperately want me to move out of my home because they know this home is rigged with hidden access, just like I've said all along. Now, remember, I was shot burglar arms going to the attic. Now, I've identified homeowners all over Midland, Odessa, Texas, and many other states reporting people in the attic. This, Yeah, the crimes here are crazy. It is. I agree. And but but uh, they are going on. That's all there is to it. There's just way too much proof. And so this big Facebook post here in the middle is the Hobbs Act. The Hobbs Act says you get 20 years if you conspire with others to try to terrorize a property owner into selling their property. And and a part of that is working with corrupt police that look the other way while while the, while the victim is being terrorized. Okay, and that's what's going on here. Here are some of the death threats that I've gotten. You know. Uh, Lance Eggleston, you will be silenced, not if, but when. When are you going to murder me, Lance? And actually what Lance told me, he says, we have access to your residence at all times. Nobody will ever believe your story. You will be silenced, not if, but when. Very clear death threat. You know, another guy says, you have two choices. You move or you meet God early. You know, I have a print screen of that. Here's this Randy Wallace. You best stop worrying about it, about it, or they're going to get the snitch and on and on and on and on. These are the death threats. And these are just a few of the move moves. I would move. I'd move. Have you thought about moving? Have you thought about moving? I would move, 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 move. See, the ex-wife told me a lot of people were here when I shot. A lot of people were in this underground facility. Here's here's just a few of them. Here's old Betty Thomas. Sell and move the F out, you morons. See, and this is what I'm getting all the time. I've got hundreds of these people. They're working together, conspiring together to terrorize me out of my home. I'm, I've got, you know, uh, 50 videos of burglars 
smoke alarms going off. I'm reporting it to the police. The police are not doing anything about it and all these other people in the crime ring, and I ain't saying all of them are, but obviously some of them are, are coming to me saying, I would move, I would move. That's what's going on in Midland, Texas. That's how they gain property via terrorism, and that's why it's against the law. I've now documented homeowners all over Midland, Odessa, and many other states reporting people in the attic, which is the same crimes I reported before I was crippled for life in a burglary. Okay, this is a list of homes just in Midland, Odessa, and and Odessa is about 20 miles from Midland, Texas here, and and so they're kind of considered together. Uh, I used to be able to pick up their police scanner. Now they have their police frequencies blocked, and nobody can listen to their scanner because I was I was recording you know recording these calls with people in the attic. Uh, I have a, I have a set of videos series called Attic Investigation Very a series, and and you'll see many of these homes there with the stories about them. And most of them is a police scanner call. The homeowner called the police, reported somebody in the attic. Last year, I contacted, and I'm gonna tell that story in a minute, the city of Midland and asked them for a list of all homeowners who reported some in the attic, and they said nobody had, okay? But yeah, look here, that's a lie. I've got the police scanner calls. I've got the police report when I called, and I reported somebody in my attic a year before I'm ambushed and shot with burglar alarms going up in my attic. Last year, I sent an online request for information into the city of Midland and asked for a list of homeowners that had reported somebody in the attic. And city attorney Gates wrote me back and said that the Midland Police Department said that nobody had ever reported somebody in the attic. And that would include me, even though I have the police reports. I also have multiple calls from my police scanner of other homeowners reporting people in the attic. They flat out lied. And I'll post the proof in the comments. And, you know, and, and I think it's only fair to share this with Ty Anders' uh, attorney. I mean, don't you think because we really want the truth to go, come out at the, do we have an out of control vigilante law for, enforcement here in Midland that's similar to Minneapolis and and you know I think it, I think we do I mean I'm crippled for life and and you know and have proof that we had five officers under my house okay and so here was my request I, I would like a list of all 911 calls for the last 10 years with homeowners reporting somebody in the attic okay City attorney writes me back. According to the Midland Police Department, the enclosed record is the only record in the city's position, uh, possession. Uh, truly yours, Stephen Gates, first assistant city attorney. Okay, so I'm assuming maybe that he works for Nodoff, uh, who's the district attorney uh, in that office. And and so somebody isn't telling the truth, right? I mean, do you see that? I've got all these uh, these uh, police scanner calls and my police reports, and they're saying it hadn't happened to nobody. I'm saying it's widespread spread racketeering theft and burglary and murders what's going on in massive corruption okay we now know that six of the police officers caught on camera didn't have their names on the police report and three of those are dead more importantly the time since showed me that five police were at or inside my home when they were not seen arriving or entering by the door I remember i had the front cameras that seen woodward and naylor the sheriff from another county and the deputy that's no longer alive they were here at 1101 okay well matt davis is here at, at, at or he changed location at 11 and he is here at 1103 at my house okay that's that's where it says here uh c-l-o-s on scene change location on scene okay here's on scene so he's at my house at 1103 this is two minutes after woodward or naylor are seen arriving but he wasn't seen and arriving okay well how'd he get to my house buddy well he come in the uh, the trap door i shot from he was under my house come in the tunnels okay also, hell, Ramirez, but and, and here's a big one at 11:05. Remember, Woodward and Naylor are seen on the cameras arriving at 11:01. These guys are here, but they're not seen. And Dicky, a lieutenant, says no one's in the house inside. Lots of good, lots of odd things like booby traps, which is a lie because there's no booby traps in evidence. Tony Dicky lied on the police reports. Okay, and and of course now he's gone. He's no longer there. He retired and took his golden parachute, you know, and I'm sure he's living the high life now off the money of the, of the taxpayer after he lied on police reports in a capital attempted murder, okay? And so he's inside my home. I believe that Dickie's probably who let the trap burglar out of my bathroom that I had towered the door shut and I didn't know it, you know, because another officer, Chandler, had wrote on a report, uh, Mr. Webb caused himself to suffer a gunshot wound due to his paranoia. And I think what was happening, they blamed me for figuring out I was under a home invasion. I tie 
barred my doors and didn't know I trapped a burglar. So the police d d come in. They were under my house. They're working with this crime ring, uh, maybe a party in the underground facility in the backyard, and uh, and decided to murder me to free the burglar. Because if they arrest the burglar, it would expose the four underground homes, the tunnels, and all the other crimes and all the other rigged homes. Okay. And here's one more guy here, Kenny Angel. This is all... Uh, 1105 by 1122 was when the camera was disabled outside. Okay. And, and so we have absolute proof. I got them five police officers here at my house and they're not seen on camera. Okay. And so that told me they came from under my house. Well, this, this, if this has been given over to the chief of police who blocked my emails, you know, it's been provided to the city council, to the mayor and to the past sheriff and et cetera. And the crimes against me have never stopped. They're still trying to terrorize me from my home home. This told me, this is my next one, this told me they came to my home from the tunnels that I've been told were here and had entered from now removed trap door from where I shot. The question but asked if one of those police were involved in trying to murder me since we knew they were under my home and somebody under my home shot me by surprise. Now I know the trap, because the evidence shows me where the where the gunshot come from. And that's how I know, you know, that's where the trap door, the ex-wife had already told me about where it was, you know. This is a Google Earth picture. And you, if you look at the map picture, you see this large facility in my back yard. You look at the sat picture, it's not there. And so I believe that's one of the four underground homes. That's where the old show parties were going on. That's where the girl was murdered at at the 2010 old show party that had police there, which could have been the motive for murder, what to kill me, because I found out from my friend. Here's a preview resident in my house, Ricky Ronaldo. He says, when I was a kid, there were tunnels under that house. Me and my brother used to always go down there. And and so, I, you know, there's multiple people documented saying there's tunnels, underground facilities here. On another, on other Google Maps, you see where the grounds cut behind Home Depot, where it was real obvious where they'd put in a tunnel going from Home Depot. I believe what was going on, I put a, made a video just the last couple days, I believe they were parked, the people at the parties were parking in front of Home Depot, going underground somewhere there, c coming through the tunnel here, and then here was the underground home, you know, million dollar underground home, and that's where they were having the parties at. Uh, you know, the ex-wife told me, in so many words, a lot of people there on the night that I shot, you know, the night that I trapped a burglar in my guest bathroom, you know, and so that's, uh, you know, that's the tunnels that I believe that that uh, the Midland police officers came in. I'm going to send this to uh, to uh, city council members uh, that I can get a hold of that hadn't got me blocked. And and but I haven't been getting any replies. I'm also going to send it over to Ty Anders' attorney. And because I mean the amount of evidence I have is incredible. Uh, you know, comparing Minneapolis to Midland is I think is a is a fair comparison. We need real change. I'm not a cop aider. I'm a supporter of law enforcement. But I am again police that are involved in breaking into private homes and or helping to murder innocent citizens that are reporting crime. This is Buddy Webb, Midland, Texas.